the energy of an electron quantized? Uh, yes, because the electrons can't uh, have to be in the log states. They can't be in in an one point eight six or or an two point four three. I see that, that those um, those aren't allowed. Uh, what? Those uh, those aren't allowed. It has to be in an allowed state. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you? Um, it can't be continuous. That energy is discrete. I see. Okay. Can um, can you draw the um, the energy levels of, of hydrogen? This is the uh, state one. This is state two. This is state three. This is state four, and this is state five. These so. Let's see, let's uh, draw a Bohr model. So, this is E1, so this is N1, this is N2, and this is N3. Okay, so E1 is negative 2.17 times 10 raised to the negative 18. This has something to do with energy levels. Slash the okay. Bohr models. Uh huh. One electron volt, though, is 1.6 times 10 raised to the negative 19 joules. Uh huh. We want to convert E1 into electron volts. Okay, let's do that. So, E1, negative 2.17 times 10 raised to negative 18 joules. This is technically on the top. So, uh -huh. so, we want this to be multiplied by a fraction. 1 EV, since we want to convert this to e, electron volts, must be on the top. Over 1.6 times 10 raised to the negative 19 joule. It's on the bottom. We can cancel out the joules, so the only unit remaining will be the electron volt. Oh, good, that's what we wanted. So negative two point one seven over one point six times ten raised to the first since nineteen minus eighteen is one, so basically ten electron volts. So negative two point one seven over one point six is negative. 1.3625 Here, if any number, any given number is equal to the value of one in electron volts over and that his certain given number squared. I see, okay. Um, oh, good. So can you use that to get E2? Yes. So if we plug in n is two, then we would get this six two five or four. So negative three point negative three point four zero six two five. How about um, how about e three? So let's put the value of e two here. Good idea. You might notice uh, that E1 and E2 don't end with a 625. Oh, that's curious. I never noticed that before. Now let's find E3. Besides, this time it won't end with 625. Well, okay. Let's, uh, so well, let's see. So let's plug it in. Uh, E3 is negative 13.625 over 3 squared in 9. Hmm. Uh-huh. So, that is equal to negative 1.513, a couple of 8, 9. Oh, you're right. It doesn't end in 625. Although E4 does, E4, the spoiler warning, is negative 8. 0 0.8565, 0 0.8515, mistake there, 625. Oh, I see. Okay. That's curious. 
No more states end end up with six two five though. Hmm. It's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. Um, how much energy does an electron need uh, to jump from the ground state to E three? Let's let's calculate. So uh, I would be E one minus E one minus E three. Uh huh. You might be thinking, how are we going to subtract those? Because this thing is neg. Both of these are negative. They are. That's right. It's minus, minus, and minus make plus. Uh huh. So negative thirteen point six two five minus minus plus. So plus a one point five one three, a couple of eight nine. Uh huh. I don't have a calculator here, so. Okay. Um, well, that's that's pretty good. I could um, I could put that in my calculator to, to work that. Out. Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.